Join me today as I plan the week of March 13th through the 19th in my Happy Planner with a printable kit from Sticker Planning. Stay tuned and see how it all came together. All right, so we start by looking at the last one, last week that I actually filmed a plan with me, and that was the 27th to the 5th. I had intended to film the 6th through the 12th, which is the current week, as I'm filming this, on Monday. But I woke up to no electricity and a freak winter storm, so I, and I needed to get organized for the week, so I just found some stickers in a, that were left over in a kit that I had used a while back and just plant <laughs> off camera. So today we are going to film from March 13th through the 19th and since it's St. Patrick's Day this week I went to the shop sticker planning and I got a happy planner kit. Let's see this was her March St. Patrick's Day happy planner kit and it was $2.50 for three pages and you could really use this for a couple of weeks probably because you I mean you've got four weekend banners you've got some checklists you've got two of these big note strips you've got lots of boxes um, so it's it's a really cool little kit I really like this little kit it'll be really fun it's got some check boxes so let me get things cut out and we will start putting stickers down all right, so I have everything cut out for the top section and I have the backing started to peel off because this paper is not very cooperative. So I am going to run a line of to-do stickers on Monday through Friday and the weekend banner on the weekend. all of these on. So this planner is used mostly or in fact entirely for a combination of my blogs, my YouTube channels, and any artwork that I need to get done for people. So that's what this one is for. There's no you know family stuff or personal stuff unless it's affecting those things in that maybe I won't be home so I have to have a day off or something like that. across we can enter. and I don't cut around the bottoms of the flags and especially not on the weekend banner because what I want to do is cover up that purple I am hoping to as much as I love purple it is my favorite color when I'm done I don't plan to see any purple so now I have some check flags I decided to go with the shamrock to-do lists rather than the others. They're a little wide, but I think that'll be okay. And again, I don't bother to cut the flag part off because I don't think it's necessary. Some of them are wider because they were on a couple of different pages. I could have made them more of them the same size if I would have went with hearts, but for part of them. But I wanted all shamrocks. After all, it is St. Patrick's Day this week. And I'm not even attempting to match the colors of the greens across. I'm just randomly putting them down. Now, below the weekend banner, we'll put two more today stickers, today headers down. Since I didn't want the purple to ignore my son laughing in the next room, I'm not sure what he's doing. We probably don't want to know. Now, I didn't want the purple to show, so there were two 
kind of full check boxes in this kit, so those I am using on the weekend. I have a suspicion they were mainly, maybe supposed to go on the sidebar. I don't know, but they're fine. So now I am going to get um, the full box. I've got a bunch of these cut out. I'm going to peel, start the peeling of the backing on these kind of whited out full boxes and also on some of these regular decorative full boxes. I'll get come back, we'll put those down, and we'll see where we go from there. All right, so I think the next step, I'm going to actually cover this rainbow area down here with some washi tape. And I've got, I had a couple of colors I liked better for it, but the rainbow stuff showed through most of them. So I'm going to use this glittery, this glitter tape. I'm going to do it first so I know where my bottom has to end down here. mainly so I know where it ends on the weekend. Well, that was a less than successful tear. Alright, get this done. Now we have no rainbow showing. So, next we are going to, I think, go across with these boxes at the bottom first. Um, I need to cover up this, and there's nothing in this kit to do that. So let's see how. Hopefully, this will work. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take some ones for the weekend. I'm going to use boxes that don't really have much of a design on them because I think the top is going to be covered up. Something that will work more as a background that doesn't have a... Now I'm going to pick some of these blanked out boxes. Oops, this one had more backing. Yeah, that's going to come down just a little bit, but that really does get rid of the purple fairly well. Let's see, make sure this one is right side up, because this one actually has a right and a, a right and a wrong direction. There's going to be a little purple around it, but not much. Now, I am going to go across with these other blanked out boxes and just put them wherever I feel like putting them. And these I'm bringing up over the purple bar. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just putting them down. Because I don't really want headers over these, I'm just moving them up to cover where the headers would go. Whoops. Did not get a hold of that. Now I am still in search of of uh, matte paper that I like. I really dislike this last matte paper I bought. And I got that sticker on really crooked, but there's no way to go back and fix it. Come on, go where I want you to. That's really crooked. Let's see if I can get that backed up. Oh, it's very wrinkled. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay, now we have full boxes to put across here. And I saved one full box for the sidebar. 
this one, since it's the same as that one, I'm going to put it on this page, I think way over here. First, let's look at which ones kind of sort of match. This one is the same as that, so I'm going to put it here. Uh, this one's kind of like that one, so I'll put it over here. And yeah, no, they're not. Whoa, that was not good. Okay. God, this, I hate this paper. I hate this paper. I hate this paper. Okay, hopefully I can get that too. Kind of stick it down. Okay, now yeah, I'll get a glue stick and fix that later. Put this here. I'll uh, use some glue to fix that. This one will go for here. Oh, I have an extra one peeled. I really don't like this one, so I will use this one here. I think it goes this way. If I had some kind of, if I had a category to put headers for, I suppose I could have put headers, but I just don't work that way down here. Oh, okay. okay, that one's just going to be cooking. Now I have this. I was going to use this, but it really doesn't fit, so I'm just going to put this on. Let's see if I can do this without having to pre-peel it. This stuff is so sticky. Alright, since this is such a long sticker, I'm going to put it against my jeans really quick to take some of the sticky off of it. And then I can use this list for any number of things. So there we go. We have, with one minor disaster there, the week planned out. So let's put it back in the planner and see how it looks. Oh, that definitely looks really good. I love that. So I don't have anything to write in here now. I'll, next week when I plan the following week, I will have most of this filled out so you can see it then, and I will talk to you later. Bye.